Welcome to Fragmented, a software developer podcast where we talk about building good software and becoming better developers. My name's Don Felker. And I'm Kaushik Gopal. Welcome to the show. Hey, everybody. It's Don here. It's been a while since I've been on the podcast, and I want to say thank you for listening and continuing to listen. Kaushik and I have recently chatted a little bit and decided that we're going to try to get back on a regular cadence to get the podcast out in a, in a regular fashion so it's not so sporadic. We probably won't be on a weekly basis, but we'll be a lot more frequent than we have been probably in the last year. As most of you know and have experienced worldwide, the pandemic really shut a lot of stuff down and just changed the way of life for most people, including us drastically. So that really impacted our ability to record and uh, honestly, uh, killed some of the drive to record. It's, uh, it's hard to record with so much wild and crazy things going on in the, in the world. Anyway, we're going to be back. So thanks again for listening. But the reason why I'm here today is because I wanted to talk to you about the concept of quality over quantity. And it sounds a, it is a very abstract term and it's one that we've all heard many times, but it's something that yet during yesterday I was, I had a conversation with a friend and she said that Um, quality over quantity. And she was talking about just friends in general and the relationships everybody has, uh, you know, between themselves. And she was basically saying, look, I'm only going to, uh, I'm going to only favor quality over quantity. Meaning that if you're going to invite people into your life, uh, it could be friends, family, whatever, they have the, the quality time that you have is way more valuable than the quantity of time. So let's say you hang out with your best friend one day and you go out and you go on some adventure together and it's a adventure that you remember for the rest of your life. Maybe you were only doing this thing for 12 hours, but you kayaked down a whitewater river. That's something you're going to remember for the rest of your life. That's a quality event. Now, if you hang out with that same friend every single day and, you know, 95% of the time you're just around each other, not doing anything of any consequence, that's just quantity. Um, not saying it's not valuable, but with how short life is, uh, the quanti- the quality of the time that you have and what you do with it is what really matters. And that, and this relates to software. Uh, really deeply because it really got me thinking about what what else does this apply to and it started getting me think about developing software and a couple of weeks ago I was uh, contracted by a company uh, con- excuse me contacted by a company to consult for them for basically uh, 40 hours um, it actually was just 20 hours at first they wanted me to do something in 20 hours. Um, a We had a phone call on a Friday afternoon or Friday morning and basically needed to have something done by next week. So I literally had two or three days to implement something. And this immediately made me think of, okay, what can I do to really push the needle forward? And to make a long story short, they needed an application. Uh, that ran on iOS and Android, and they wanted to use this application as a sales tool for their sales team uh, so that they could sell some clients and obtain some larger contracts uh, and, and build out a new product. So that was the, the, the reasoning. At that point in time, I decided, well, the best tool for me to, to build this in is uh, it needed to be a mobile app. So I wrote it in Flutter. And simply because it allowed me to build both iOS and Android at the same time. I didn't need deep system integration. It was forms over data and I needed to get it done quickly. So I embarked on that. And where the quality versus quantity comes in here is I spent the next 24 hours, so two 12 hour days, building this Flutter app on the weekend to get it done for this client. And those 24 hours were some of the most productive 24 hours I've had to get into the state. And I was able to build an application 
that they wanted uh, that far surpassed their expectations that gave them everything they needed and a more within that 24 hour period using a tool like flutter. Now I'm not here to discuss the benefits or the negative aspects of flutter or anything like that. That's not this discussion. This discussion is more along the lines of quality. What was I able to do with that time? How was I able to maximize that time? And I was able to do that just using that tool. But really what it came down to was focus and the quality of time I've had. You know, think back how many times have you built an application or worked on a side project and been sitting there cranking away at work on it and you'll spend eight hours, 10 hours, a week, two weeks, three weeks on this project. You're perfecting pixel perfect border radiuses and making sure this animation flows left to right perfectly. And before you know it, you spent weeks and weeks and weeks on it and you still haven't shipped it. You know, that you're putting in quantity at that point. Um, I'm sure you're doing some quality work, but let's take the other side of the coin. How many times have you sat down and entered what's known as the flow state? And the flow state is where you literally feel like you're part of the machine. You sit down to code and you have something you need to do. Maybe, you know, I've perfected a way to, and I'll share here at the end how I get into the flow state for me. Um, but let's say you get into the the code and you start working on the project and for whatever reason the hours melt by and all of a sudden it's time to go home or you it's time to tend to other responsibilities in life and you have to wrap it up for the day and you look back and you think whoa what just happened i just wrote an insane amount of code or i figured out this very difficult problem and now this is done and this has been something i've been trying to do or figure out or have been tossing around my head for months now and I just sat down and did it. And then sometimes you think like, man, I should have done this a long time ago. Like, what was I waiting for? Like I had it in me the whole time. And that's the quality work is when you're in that flow state, that's the quality. And that's what this initial conversation with my friend yesterday got me thinking about is that quality versus quantity is so crucial. You have to figure out a way to create that and manifest that time so you can get into that quality, that flow state of development because a lot of people work, I mean, the majority of the world works at a job and at these jobs, you'll sit there and just waste away the time. You'll work on a feature or a project and then two or three hours later will go by and you've maybe checked some email or you've looked at social media or read an article uh, and you've basically just been distracted and you're waiting for the time to pass. That's the quantity. That's the quantity of time. And I think a lot of people, unfortunately, confuse the quantity of time that they work on something with the quality of time they work on something. Now, I'm not saying this 24-hour project is something that's this fantastic thing that I've written. No, there's a, there's a lot of edge cases that need to be handled still. But for what I was able to get done in it, it really brought it home. Like, wow you can get a lot accomplished if you just focus on quality of just the quality of time. How much effort am I putting into this? Am I eliminating my distractions? Am I entering a flow state? Am I just really plowing ahead? Am I not getting stuck in the minutia of a project? It's amazing what you can get done. And so some of the things that I did to do that was when I was writing, I mean, writing this flutter application, I needed to find a screen or a design that looked good for something. I would quickly go look at a few examples and I gave, I time boxed everything. I'm not doing this for more than 10 minutes. That might be finding a good looking design for a detail screen. And I would just kind of look at a few examples online. Okay. That looks good. Or I'd see a YouTube tutorial of someone doing it. I'd watch it real quick and I'd mimic it and then tweak it to my, my satisfactory, you know, my satisfaction. And then I'd ship it and that, that screen was done. Okay. Maybe it wasn't perfect. Maybe the padding wasn't just perfect. I'll come back and fix that later, but at least now I've got this screen done. It works. It's functional. It provides value. It's not pixel perfect, but if you ask any typical user on the street, do you see anything wrong with this screen? 99% of them would say no. It's just the fact that we have this innate ability to see, oh, that, you know, that back icon looks a little too big or this shade of blue doesn't really match and we or this button is just too big or it's in the wrong location 
And I had a perfect example of this. I needed to create a basically a, an account screen and I needed to create a logout button. And I had the screen laid out and I added the logout button, but for some reason due to the way I had laid it out and the way that Flutter was, was rendering it, I couldn't get the button to look how I wanted to. I spent about five minutes on it and I had to check myself. I said, all right, is this, am I spending quality time here? Or am I just wasting a quantity on time of what this logout button looks like? Like right now, this doesn't really matter to the huge feature set of the project for the goal that I'm, I'm trying to accomplish. So that's what I did is I just made the button look, okay, it works. It's in the general location I want it to be. It's blue, cool. Uh, it has, you know, ripple and click state. Awesome, it works. It allows me to log out onto the next screen. And my main goal was to, I had a list of screens I had to get done. And I told myself, look, I'm gonna bang through each one of these screens. I'm gonna get them operational. They're gonna look decent. And then I'm gonna come back and refine them. Because if I just stay on one screen for far too long, and I spent a ton of quantity time on it, just perfecting it to make that, you know, what feels like a good quality, perfect pixel, perfect screen. I didn't get everything else done I needed to get done. And I have no idea, you know, for this project that I was on, I have no idea if that screen's gonna matter that much. I need to meet the expectations of the client, which for me was just, you know, building something that looks good and works. They don't care that it's Flutter. They don't care if it's React Native. They don't care if it's native Android or native iOS. They want to make sure that it works for their use case. And so what I'm trying to say is here, you just kind of have to, um, you know, the whole Gordian knot analogy. So for those of you uh, that are not familiar with the, you know, the Gordian knot, I recommend just looking up the Gordian knot. And basically what it is, is the, at a real high level, it's, if you have a very complex bunch of things, it's something complex you need to do, you just need to find the simplest way to do it. And in this example, there was a very complex knot that people could not untie. And basically it was, hey, if whoever can untie the knot, we'll get this fantastic thing. And, and it's, a myth, it's a, some mythology thing. We'll get this fantastic thing. And no one could undo it. And then finally somebody came by and said, look, well, I can do it. And they said, how? And the person pulled out their sword and they just cut the knot. And they said, okay, great. You get this fantastic thing. And no one ever really thought like, oh, we were trying to untie this knot. Like why? We never thought to just slice right through it. So that's what I'm trying to get at here is that you kind of have to remove a lot of the complexity of, of what you're working on inside of an application sometimes and just focus on getting something done, being very productive with your time. If you have that quality time. Now, again, I'm not saying that you have to produce 10 screens in five days or two days like, you know, like I was doing with this prototype app and this proof of concept app. But what I am saying is that maybe you have this feature that you're working on and you need to get it done. What I will typically do at this point is I will first get a screen fully operational, meaning that the screen will do all of the functions it has. And it may look like absolute dog crap. It looks terrible. I mean, it's, it's horrendous. It looks like a programmer UI. It's just non-styled text boxes, labels, not even half, half times, not even labels. Uh, buttons, but if you knew how to use it, it would provide value for what you need to do. Then at that time, I go back through, okay, well now let me add some color or add some spacing. Okay, now let me apply the styles to the buttons and input fields. Okay, let me add the input uh, the labels and uh, all of the you know, internationalization and all of whatever the features you have is. But I, that's how I build these different screens. And what that does allows me to focus on the core principle of what I'm trying to do first, which is solve a problem. And then I'm going to make it look nice because the problem is if you go the other way around and you make something look nice right away, a lot of people are going to think that you're done. And if you're already done, if they think you're done, then there's an expectation, especially if they're non-technical that why are you spending all this time on this thing? It's not done yet. Um, and so that's kind of a, something that I do, especially with a lot of consulting clients is I'll build it. I'll have it working. I'll show them progress. Hey, this is working. Now we're going to spruce it up a bit. Now we're going to make it look good. And that's a, the, the practice that I follow a lot of the times, but to kind of bring this full circle, what you're really looking for here is that quality over quantity time. So if you find yourself just letting the hours waste away and you're like, well, I've been working on, you know, I worked on this project for 85 hours already, or, you know, a whole week or seven weeks or 10 weeks, 
ask yourself, did I really work on it that long? Or did I just sit in front of the computer and watch the time go by because that's what I was supposed to do during this time? I was supposed to just sit here until five o'clock because I get in at eight or nine and I'm just waiting for the time to pass so I can go home. Are you doing that? Or are you actually focused on work? And maybe you're caught up on work. What do you do then? Well, you can always go learn something new. You can always value your time because time is the one resource that, you're, that is unrenewable. You'll never get back today. And to kind of leave you with a little uh, anecdote, I guess is what it would be called, is uh, this one kind of rocked me recently, is today is the youngest you'll ever be. Think about that. Today is the youngest you'll ever be. So we always think about, well, I'll do that tomorrow. Well, you know, I got youth on my side or I have some more time. But today is the the youngest you're going to be. So use your time wisely. Focus on the quality time uh, of your work, of your of your interpersonal relationships, of everything, you know, doesn't mean that going to the gym and working out for three hours is the best thing. No, sometimes you can hit the stimulus of what you're trying to do in half hour to 45 minutes, because that's what you needed to do that day. Other times you might be doing long form, low intensity, low intensity cardiovascular training uh, at a very low heart rate. And that might require you to be active on multiple different cardio machines for 45 minutes to an hour and a half for whatever you're training for. So the thing is, is quantity of things does not mean quality. Quantity does not mean quality. You can get high quality in a very short period of time. So just something to think about. Thanks for listening, folks. Kaushik and I are going to try to be back uh, a lot more. And uh, things should be coming back around. So, again, we'll be talking about various different software topics, not just uh, mobile development. Uh, a lot of the times, for example, after this call, uh, this call, this recording, I'm going to be hopping uh, into some Rails app. Uh, I'm building a, a different SaaS app today, and I'm going to try to get it shipped. And uh, so we'll be sharing a lot of those things about uh, so forth. So I'm going to go focus some quality time here in the next couple of hours to see how far I can push that needle forward. Well, we'll talk to you next time. That's it for the show, folks. Fragmented is hosted by Don Felker and me, Kaushik Gopal. We edit and produce all the episodes here on Fragmented. You can find more Fragmented episodes at fragmentedpodcast.com. Thanks for listening. And we will catch you in the next episode.